everyone, and welcome to Yoga with Madison. Today I'm going to teach you yoga with transitions. This means when the body is well aligned in a pose, there's often a sense of ease as the bones absorb much of your body weight and your muscles to be able to support and stabilize you. During transitions, your brain has to figure out your action while your muscles have to move your weight from one place to another. For this class, you do not need any blocks or mats. All you need is your body and open mind and heart. Let's begin in a cross-legged position. It's called the Sukhasana, or Indian Pose. Take a second here to take a breath and move your shoulders forward, up, and back. Repeat one more time. Now let's start by checking in with our neck. By moving our head from one ear over one shoulder and then switching over to the other shoulder. Repeat two more times. Then start moving your head and chin to your chest, shaking your head in a yes and no movement. Do this once more. Then bring yourself back to your center. Give yourself a second to feel your body and head over your heart. Close your eyes to find your alignment. Let's see if we can deepen our breath. Take one long breath in and one long breath out. Repeat once more. Now draw your palms together in front of your body in that prayer position. Bow your head and take a few long breaths and find your inner self. Decompress all the exciting things you did to camp today. Take another second here and think what you'll be able to take away with what you've learned going forward. Often in yoga, we do what we call this prayer position, which is used to center our body and mind by pressing the palms together and aligning the posture. It is also used to help us focus and deepen our breath and helping to align and strengthen our shoulders. Take a few more deep breaths and start to lift your head up and put your palms of your hands on your knees. Put your chin back down and breathe in and out. When you inhale, lift your chin to the sky and your exhale stretching out your spine then put your chin back down on your chest repeat this two more times now let's get up onto all fours start by extending your right leg out behind you and keeping it off the mat Take your left arm and extend it out in front of you. Try to keep your thumbs as if you were shaking someone's hand. Exhale here and draw your arms and legs together in and outwards, breathing in and out each time. Repeat this two more times. Here you should feel your stomach muscles working. On the last inward motion, I want you to squeeze your leg and hold it up, keeping your leg off the mat for about five seconds. release. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. Don't forget to repeat it two times on this side, crunching your legs and arms in and out. Once you are done with that exercise, get back to your all fours. Now bring your toes together behind you and place your knees as wide as you can. Drop your elbows down with where the hands were, bringing the palms together. Take a deep breath here, in and out. Now move your hips back. Put your thumbs up towards your head and take a few long, deep breaths. In and out. Lower your arms and get back up on all fours. Next, you will go into a downward dog position. Breathing in 
and out. We do this position to keep yoga moving and possibly a chance to clear your mind and body. Now take your right leg and lunge it forward onto the mat and extend the other leg back behind you, similar to a runner's stretch. Then walk your hand off the mat and get a really good long stretch here, breathing in and out here a few times. Then walk your hands back onto the mat, but keeping them on the left side. Let's take a breath in and out here two times. Now move your hands on either side of your leg, and we are going to go back into that runner stretch. Lift your head up and breathe. Then bow it down, and stretching out over your leg, take a long, deep breath in and out several times. Now we are going to roll into what we call a crescent lunge. Bend your knee back and again and reach your hands up and over your head, giving yourself a big stretch. Your other leg should be bent, resting on the mat. Inhale going up and exhale going down with your arms. Crescent lunge is a deep stretch to the spine, which improves your flexibility. The position can also st stimulate your internal organs at the abdomen. It builds better energy within your body to so live a long and healthier lifestyle. Once you're done, bring yourself back to all fours. Now we're going to shift our arms and legs into the plank position. Inhaling and exhaling in this position for about 30 seconds or so. Deep long breaths here. Plank pose is very beneficial to strengthen your muscles, especially the core. It raises your metabolism and reduces back pain. We're going to wait a few more seconds here. Now let's get back to our downward dog position and gives your arms a rest. To repeat that set once again. On your next breath in, take your left leg and lift it up high in the air, and then bring it down into the mat in that runner stretch. We will do the same thing on the other side by starting to walk your hands over to the left. Lunge forward and stretch those legs out, walking your hands back to the middle and put your leg in between them, and get into your runner stretch, ending up in your plank pose. This time, in your plank position, let's do three push-ups, breathing in and out on each one. One, two, three. After you're done with this, go back to your downward dog position. Let's see this time if you can bend your knees and get some hip rotation with a big, long stretch. Don't forget to keep breathing. Then walk your hand off the mat and really get a good stretch, breathing in and out a few more times. You did it! I hope that you feel strong and can really feel those muscles moving and how healthy this will be for you in the long run. Doing this yoga class can help burn calories and tone muscles. It's a total mind, body, and spiritual workout. 
that combines strengthening and stretching poses with deep breathing and meditation or relaxation. It can make you both emotionally and physically healthier, leaving a longer life expectancy. Now let's get back to our plank position. Here we want to inhale in and exhale out, doing a few push-ups. One, two, three. Next, we're gonna take one long breath in and put your legs and belly on the mat. Arms straight out, arms straight, which puts, a, puts us in the cobra position. You should start to feel a nice long stretch with your belly and back, breathing in and out a few more times. back to your plank position, breathing here in and out and into a down facing dog. Back to your all fours. Then push your feet up and send your hips back, taking your fingertips and pretend that you're painting your mat and bring your arms to your side. We call this the child's pose. Stay here for a moment or two and enjoy the nice long stretch and breathe in and out. Think about the exciting things that lie ahead for you in your life. Are you going to a bike ride later today? Making dinner for your family? Or just spending time at home with your brothers, sisters, or cousins? Rise back up to all fours. Here we will start to lift our arms and hands off the mat and get up onto your feet while keeping low and bent knees in what we call a yoga squat. Now, see if you can try to face forward, keeping the same yoga squat. Place your hands in your prayer position and try to squeeze your legs into your arms. Tuck your chin and breathe in and out. Now take your hands and walk them to one side of your body. Try and lean on your knees on your elbow, creating a little shelf with your body. Rock back off your shelf and try it again several times. Then go back to all fours. Now let's see if we can do the yoga squat exercise on the other side. Okay, we're gonna start again at all fours and get your knees down low. Face forward in your yoga squat and place your hands together in the prayer position, taking light, nice, long breaths in and out. Now take your hands and walk them to one side of your body. Try and lean on your knees, on your elbows, creating a little shelf with your body. Let's take a seat on the mat and stretch out those legs. Raise your arms up and over your head and then bringing them down, grabbing your feet. Straighten your legs out with your hands while still holding on. Inhale and exhale. Now let's transition back to your legs, back with your legs bent and gradually bring your knees up together. Bring your feet as wide as you can to the edges of your yoga mat. Put your arms out like a cactus and rest here for a moment or two. Then, after you've rested, all the way, rock all the way up to a seated position and face forward into a cross-legged position. Place your palms together and take a few long breaths in and out. 
That is it for my transition yoga class. Have a great rest of your day.